Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode from my Skaven campaign. We're going to go over a few bits of information about Mortal Empires as we play on. There was a little multiplayer match showing the Empire fighting the Skaven. First off, the Empire is a top tier faction. They have so much variety and some people find them to be bland because they are humans. But they have so much variety to handle any issue at all that it's really hard to beat them. And right now, the Skaven are kind of underperforming, so I don't really feel like that was like a very fair matchup. I don't know if they need their Giselles or other units to really flesh them out. There's a lot more units for the Skaven that aren't in the game right now. I'm sure they'll be added in, like Clan Scryer might be added in at some point, or some other clan. I don't really know. But they need a lot more in order to really shine, I think. I don't even know how the New World factions will handle the Old World. There's a lot of artillery and other things out there, a lot of utility that can really just counter what they have. So I'm not too sure about that. Surprisingly, the Skaven are not one of the more popular factions now. That really caught me off guard. There were a few polls being done, and they were one of the least popular factions in that poll. I don't know if it's because of how they perform in battle, because of how their food mechanic can be kind of preventative when it comes to being able to do some global domination. You can tell me. I for sure want to hear your thoughts about it. Can I help you? Random undead causing a lot of corruption to spread. That is such a strange and terrible thing. I'm just letting these guys come out to fight me now. If they want to come fight me, they can. I've got Lord Crad the Evil Rat who's ready to go out with a big bang. Yeah, ever since they took over that one lo location, they kind of took it as an invitation to come all over my lands. I know what I said. All right, quick head taker. Let's get you out here, buddy. Time for you to go beat them. Oh, gonna change up your stance real quick. Not a problem. Let's go over here and ambush them. Okay, so we have food. They have how many? Four Death Runners? Wow. Alright, so that's gonna be a challenge. But yeah, that AI controlling mod that I have fiddled with here and there, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use it for, again, those battles where you have to control two armies. I feel like it's a lot more fun to just control your main army and I used to do it over in the other Total War games too, like Medieval 2. You would just let the AI control it because it would just be so much to micromanage. And because battles are even faster than they ever have been, and because you've got a ton of spells, I mean, you really need to think about that, right? There are so many spells to micromanage at any given time. And then the battles are quick. You could have 10,000 people fight on a battlefield. It'll take less than 10 minutes. I'll probably check out Still Faith Overhaul. I'm going to talk with them and see if they're going to be ready for Mortal Empires, but I might check it out just because I know how the base game plays, so I'm definitely ready for Still Faith. They do change it up. Some people love it, some do not. I think they have a lot more fans than they do not, so I'm going to give it a go. And I like the slower battles. It can be kind of crazy like when it comes to how strong the Chosen are, but man, they definitely feel lore appropriate. If you want like a more lore appropriate campaign, that's the way to go. I'm trying to use... Alright, look, so what I'm doing here... You might be wondering, why am I not just going all around them to beat them right away? Well, that's largely because if I do that, I won't be able to use all of my lovely artillery. And I have much more than what they have. If they expose their artillery, I can use my rats to disrupt their line and kill off their crew. If I kill off their crew, we're going to be okay. They're not spawning towards me, which is good. We're just waiting for them to come right towards me. We're going to put everyone into guard mode. When it comes to all of my artillery crews right now, we're going to move up my storm vermin too. All my rat ogres will be over here on the left flank. And what I found out is that if you play on like anything like hard or lower when it comes to difficulty, you can do the introduction tutorial and you can skip it. And if you do that, it'll give you extra units. And that sounds really powerful. I really want that. I wish I could have that, but I play on very hard. I would play on legendary, but people did vote for very hard, which really caught me off guard. I thought people would want to see me play on legendary, but people were like, no, I, I can't hold down all. I think, right, <gasps> because I can manually, I forgot about that. I forgot all about that, man. That's crazy. I can do some manual shooting. That's pretty wild, I've got to say. We'll just try to get you over here. I want to work with Jay a little bit more. From what I understand, it'll kind of like have a unit return to where they first charged from. The letter J is in joy. The joy of killing. <laughs> All right, so they're going to be in range pretty soon. Try to get all my artillery in range. I like to play the tiptoe game. Oh, yeah, and I really want to hear about what all of you feel about when I fast forward. Some people really hate it, but, like, if there's a siege battle, I mean, I really 
try to do it in siege battles or when I'm just trying to move troops into into position. But if you guys like really don't like it when I do it in a siege battle where there's just non-stop fighting but I don't have to move much, then I will change that up. But all right, so what do I do if I can't use all? That's kind of a difficult one. I guess I could yeah, I'll just use my arrow keys. Can't forget about that. I just want to hit their artillery first. That's really like my big goal. If I get my two warp lightning cannons to hit that play claw catapult, we'll be all right. Then I don't want to worry about them as much. There we go. Here we go. Okay, Queek and Friends. It's like a really twisted show. Queek and Friends. Yes, yes. Ugh, I won't be doing that again. Okay, let's get everyone up here. Rat Ogres are moving up too. Enemies are attacking. Everyone is going to take a hit today from my Warp Lightning Cannons. One gone. Get ready for number two to leave. Come on. Number two gone. Wow. Did they just kind of like appear destroyed? I kind of think they do because that was really quick. It went from standing to, well, on the floor. Get him. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's kind of like the walls when you destroy them. It's kind of appear to <laughs> pop on the ground. I mean, maybe that's meant to help out with performance. I don't really care. Like, if it helps out performance, then whatever. Oh, dear God. I have so much artillery. I don't know what they're going to do. What can they do? Does it matter? I don't care that much. <laughs> do I care about their, their overall sensibilities and what they can do? Not really. I think I'm pretty good. I'm just going to let my warp lightning cannons do their thing now. Got some rats I'm going to move up. Got all these units over here. Yeah, these guys are great at taking out enemy leaders. I've learned that. Like mages. Oh, man. Mages melt when they get hit. All right, here comes more of them on the left flank. That's going to be a tough one to deal with. Come on. Don't you break. I could use a crown on them in the future to where they're unbreakable, but they still take damage. That would probably be better for me. All right, so we're getting them. Nice work, nice work. A few of them beginning to vanish. That's fine. I'll take care of it. They're not taking a lot of damage, are they? No, they're not. Got all my range units on my right flank, not my left flank. So I'm going to let my two assassins come over here, I think. Queen's going to stay in the middle. Oh, here they come. They are now here. Let's go get them. Rat Ogres are going to come in too. Start hitting them. Assassins will hold them back. I want all of my storm vermin to move up. They're going to hold the front lines. I'm sure that's possible. Sub capacity. All right, clan rats get over here. Queek's going to head in. He's a tough guy. He's going to take care of things for me. And then all of you come over here and flank them. And then all of you just kind of move up. You don't need a skirmish. Just go into guard mode. Help an abomination. I'm going to move you to probably the middle of my line. I think that'll do it. Rat ogres can now... Oh, we've got some clan rats. Who's behind me? Oh my god. All these death runners are behind me. Wow. Well, that actually caught me off guard. So, let's move in now with all my storm vermin. So, we need to target these warfire throwers before they can do any damage to me. I don't want them doing damage to me. And here's our battle now. So we're now holding them at various points. We have our artillery hitting them consistently. That's going to be able to just bring down their numbers to where my infantry forces are not going to take as much damage. That's really the pure strength of the Skaven. You've got to rely on artillery, which can be a double-edged sword. Just because if it's taken out, you're done at that point. You don't have anything to utilize. You can really take care of your enemies. We're moving up on the right flank. I have all my special units who are beginning to move up right now. I have more Skaven moving in, going after Rad Ogres. I do have a Warp Bomb. But I don't know where I'm going to use that just yet. We're going to go after more of their units. There might be some friendly fire going on. That's okay. Let's debuff their leader now. He's a warlord, so he needs to be debuffed. I'm going to double debuff him. And now he's able to do nothing at all. Debuffing can be very effective, and it did prove to be so over here. The death runners fell apart. I had all my units work together, and those death runners are now dead runners. And I've got a bunch of pretty colors. If you're tripping right now, I'm sure this is like a delight to watch. Oh, man. They're like mesmerizing. And so now we're in it. We are in it, and we are winning it. 
I've gotten fist deep into that Skaven rectum. That's how you defeat your Skaven foes. A little bit of proper fisting in battle, and they won't come after you again. All right. Who's left? More Death Runners, right. Let's go over here and finish them off. That's a few of them. Let's go get my clan rats to go out and fight. Hey man, whatever I can do to get him out of there. I'm all about that. Some people are pretty curious about their modifications. I just care about enjoyment. I don't like cheap mods per se, but I do like to kind of align things in accordance to what I think is a proper design choice from older Total Wars, such as like being able to have the AI control additional units. I've controlled those battles and I've won. I don't think I've ever lost a large battle like that, in fact. It's so skewed in my favor because I can play better than the AI can. So really, it's it's really down to enjoyment. Like, do I enjoy what is going on? Am I having fun? And one Warp Lightning Cannon got over 400 kills, 441 kills. The other one, 225 kills. The Play Claw Catapult, 140 kills. And as I said, those are what you use in battle to achieve victory. If we didn't have those, we would not have wiped out our enemies so promptly. It was amazing. Okay, we're going to eat them. That's how we kind of congratulate our foes on a good fight. We eat them. Okay, level 37. Let's go over here. We're not going to take too long because, I mean, they're just a high level. They're strong. They are what they are. I can't seem to reach the other army. I would like for them to come fight me. That would be great. Another army over here. I've got a leader over there. I've got... Over here at Quick's Landing, Ratlug. Checking real quick for any nearby armies. I think we're okay. Eight more turns to go now. Four more turns for Nagarond, who I will have to go fight. I could go get Ratlug to go do it. Nah. Or can I? I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Lord Krat the Evil Rat. If you ambush him, we could do it now. That is true. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> But what I will do, I am going to take Zap Spark and have him move up. If he would like to die for me in glorious combat, that is more than fine. And then we're going to have our good buddy over here, Ratlug, move over to the Horn City. And I think that'll do too. The intervention armies are gone, so now I just need to defend what I currently own. Oh, you're going after one of my cities? Okay, well, that's cruel of you. So I'm going to upgrade tier 5. I'll take that at least, now that I have money. I mean, I'll upgrade him. I don't want to hold him, but I'll upgrade him. I might as well, I suppose. What's over here? That's for trade. Plus one to, un to untainted. Not really important for me. Actually, I kind of just want more corruption, but whatever. Whatever, man. If I can spread more corruption and cause issues for you, that's great. There's actually a mod that came out for Warhammer 2 that makes the AI go for suitable climates. They're not just going to colonize everything. I'm really trying to find all the mods I can to make the game feel more immersive and better. And I'm going to keep on looking for that proper experience. My goal is to get back to the days of just having proper line fights where I can watch the battle for at least a brief moment. I'm not saying like for like 20 minutes. Because like when I notice people talking about longer fights, you have people who go on the extremes going, I don't like these brief fights. Okay. And then other people say, well, I don't have time for like a one hour fight. Well, you don't need a one hour fight. It's ridiculous. I don't want that too. But you want it to feel a little bit meatier. And part of it, I think, like, I'm really wondering if I had, like, let's say 200 Empire Swordsmen per group. First off, that would be nuts. But if I did, then having one group wiped out by a spell wouldn't matter as much. I would still have more fodder to throw into battle. And I think that would be really cool. Okay, so they're coming at me. They're, okay, okay, that's cool. You know what? Let's do it. Now, we're being ambushed. On the inverse, we're now being ambushed by the Skaven. We ambushed them, now they're ambushing us. The Battle of the Fanged Poor is happening right now. By a really lame horny rat called Charge Lock. Well, I'm Queek, motherfucking head taker. Guess what, guess what I'm good at? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm that big rat that eludes you every day. Look at my well-trained army. I love my well-trained force. Oh, look, there's rat hands on my back. And a beard. Oh. Not just a beard, a dwarf head. Okay. Oh, there's going to be two armies? Cool. Okay, okay. So let's get ready now. we got to hurry up. Boom. Leadership, go out and fight. All of you over there. Artillery, I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. I'm going to have to figure that out. You could just get ready for the... Oh, wait, wait. That was the wrong way. My bad.
can't believe I just did that. That was pretty silly. Okay, so we need our artillery to hit their artillery. We can do that right now. Won't be much of an issue. I don't even know what else to get there. Too busy yammering away, I think. All right, let's go get these guys over here now. They're going to get ready. I need all my range units to also get ready. Come on over here. We're going to try to respond to them in force and destroy them. I'm going to get all my units out here. I'm going to need a few of them to come over to the left flank, I think. The Storm Vermin are going to take some pretty solid hits. That's going to be a rough one. I'm going to have all my artillery hit their Plague Claw catapults and hopefully destroy them promptly. That's really the goal right now. I'm a little bit worried about their massive forces coming to fight me, but I think we can endure it. I think we can handle it. Okay, so we're hitting that. Oh my god, that's... Holy shit. Hold on. <laughs> that is so punched up. No, it's it's actually working out. Outside of that one right there, I think it's mostly working out. <laughs> I do not like that. Okay, so they're not able to properly fire yet. We're just going to bring out some clan rats. All right. Now we want all of our artillery to kind of just get into position, man. They're not in a proper position right now, so we'll get them into position to where they can properly attack our enemies. Let's go after some more clan rats. We have a lot of them coming after me right now. We have Queek, who's currently fighting. He's going to use Verminous Valor to break up their formation right now. We have a Hellpit Abomination moving over to the left flank. Getting ready for more of them. You're not going to hit my guys that hard. Okay. Let's come over here just a little bit. I don't need all this Storm Vermin over there, but I can get quite a few over here. And I think that'll work out nicely. I've got some Rad Ogres I can bring in. Let's go beat up on their hell pit. I think we can do that. All right. So we got their crew. The crew is gone now. And they also brought in some clan rats to fight me. So we're going to have a clan rat based battle. I think I'm going to focus on their leader right here. I'm going to get another clan rat. I'm going to bring it up on top of them. I would love to debuff their leader. Hold on. Let's go ahead and debuff everyone nearby. Look at that. They all have very low melee attack. Now before I talk more, let's go ahead and get some more rats in. We need to make sure that Queek is debuffing their leader and trying to get to their leader if we can do that. Let's try to get to that leader right now. I'm just going to use my Warp Lightning Cannons to kill him right away. So that's what's going to happen there. Okay, so what do we have over here? We've got some Storm Vermin. Where are the Rat Ogres at? Do they run? Oh, they're running. Okay, so they'll be back. They're hitting my artillery, which is clearly not what I want. So we got to go kill some Death Runners. Let's go over here and go get them before they take out my artillery. I can't lose my artillery or we're going to be in bad shape. Yeah, that ambush caught me off guard, but we can recover from it, and we can have a better day. Because right now, I can't hit them like I usually would. Alright, you guys aren't fighting. You should always be fighting. Everyone, everyone here should be fighting every day. This Rat Ogres are your target. Go get them. Come over here, finish up the Storm Vermin. Got some more to fight down here. I'm going to bring in some Clan Rats to go fight, I think. Go beat them up. I think you got it. And all of you can go after the Rat Ogres. Just go get them. You can skirmish for now. I think that'll work out just fine. I can let all of you heal up. I should have used your potions in the last battle when I think about it. That would have been a better idea. We're still fighting this major group over here on the left flank. That's going to be a tough one for me to take out. So what we're going to do... Oh, God. Are you hitting your own units? It's kind of weird. Let's come over here and help out. A lot of Storm Vermin on my left flank. I don't know how many we're going to end up fighting, but it's going to be pretty rough. It's going to be a rough one. Let's go hit over here now. I will need my play claw to go help out. Looks like my catapult is just fine. My other units are just fine. Let's begin to move in now. We can begin to fold in on them with all my specials. We just had to get rid of a lot of clan rats. I think the rat ogres will not be back. Oh, no, no. They they will be back. Okay, so I'm going to put my storm vermin over here to guard my range weapons because that's always needed. Let's go look now what we have going on. Night runners going after more night runners. I believe that's what they have, right? No, gutter runners. Okay, never mind. It's a little bit different. Let's go look. Red Ogres are fighting and losing a big fight. I thought we had it. We do not have it. We're still getting their leader. I want him debuffed. So we're going to debuff him. And kill him. We have more clan rats to use. So we're going to bring in more clan rats. We're breaking a lot of them. Okay, Bombardiers are getting some kills. Good work. Let's go ahead and bring him in to another fight over here. A much more important fight than what we're fighting here. This Storm Vermin still need to die, but... Okay, we're fire throwers. Go destroy the clan rats. There's only 81 of them. Storm Vermin, you're going to guard a few more of them. So we're taking some big lumps right now. I'm going to have to actually trade an army out and keep my army all together for the final battle. So I'm not going to have long enough to build up a new force, I think, with the numbers that I'm currently fighting. I thought it would be a much easier fight, but all the plague stuff that's going on, yeah, that's not really helping me out. All right, so what we can do, we can direct all my artillery to attack over here instead. We'll just go attack right over here and take out that damn plague monk center bearer group that's been just hounding me for so long now. 
All right, let's go get some stuff going. We still don't have their leader yet. We got some more clan rats that can come in. Come on, go get them. Go get them. Get two different targets. I think you're okay. Let's go form up. Get ready. Come over here. Go get that group. They're all gutter runners. We got rid of the rat ogres again, who just keep harassing me so much. We have another wave on the way. They're pretty beaten up, but let me tell you, we're still in really rough shape. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change up my target to over here. So a lot of my army is currently dead. So I've got to start bringing some guys out to come help me fight. Alright. Here comes some more storm vermin. Actually, just let the artillery wreak havoc. I think for right now, what I can do... My army is so sturdy. But I think we can just keep on taking damage for a time. Alright, let's bring in some more rats. Well, we, they got my help at Abomination. Man, they melted him. You saw that, right? They just melted him. That was crazy. Here comes some more clan rats. Go get them, too. Alright, bombardiers. Good work. We got some more special units to bring in. Let's go bring them all in. Bring them all in. Oh, crap. Move back a little bit. I've got a war bomb to use, but I'm just waiting for the right time to use it. Okay, go get them. You're over in the woods. I need to bring you out. You're out there. You need to be right here fighting for me. Okay, you're moving out. You're fighting here. The sensors, right? Trying to censor me. Don't do that. All right. So now we're going to have my warp lightnings hit that hell pit. That might get it. My poor storm man. All right, we're going to bring these guys in. I'm just kind of holding the line right now. I'm getting my specials to go out and fight for me. That's what I'm trying to do. That's like the big goal. Okay, let's go after this group of Warfire Throwers. Look at that. Now we're beginning to meld them. I didn't have all my specials to break up their line. It was largely because I didn't have the proper positioning for my artillery. These sensor bearers have killed now 148. I mean, they're fighting clan rats, but it doesn't even matter. They're just so strong. Nope. You're not going to stop me today. Let's go hit more of them. Alright, I need all of you to go after their leader. That leader needs to die. He's been supporting them for too long. We got him now. That bell's gone. Look at all the bodies. We just have had a terrible fight. Alright, they're falling on me. Got more clan rats still fighting. We're going to try to hit more of them now. Got all these specialists who can begin to attack. Storm Vermin will move right in front of them. We're fire throwers. We're just going to keep you here. All right, buddy. You need to just heal up. So just heal up. I can use a warp bomb. I can use one over here. That would be great. Yep. Oh, no. I thought I did. Never mind. Bring in some more clan rats. Where do I have like a really broken group? I've got a few of them, I guess. But let's bring them all back out. I'm trying to find them all. That's like the big challenge now is to find them all. Oh, you're out of your bombs. Okay. I haven't seen that happen in a while. The rat ogres are having a tough time. Uh-oh. They're getting my poor assassin. He's being melted. Come over here. That army's beginning to break. I'm fighting two armies right now. A 2v1. But we have nearly won the fight. I know that we can push through. I mean, Queek is still strong now. Queek is very strong. Queek, the strongest. <laughs> I'm almost out of ammo. Wow. Let's go attack over here. I think that, that would be a great idea to just go after their big group with my warp fire throwers. Let's get them over here. Do not let them hit you, but go in anyway. Oh, they're coming back. Okay. That should be fun. Now we can warp bomb it. We just wiped out some death runners. Cool. Amount of rats to bring in. All right, so you can buff up your stuff. Warp fire throwers, you're trying to do your thing. Storm vermin, run in. Got some more storm vermin. We're gonna bring them in too. I don't have any more range attacks to use. That's all my strong stuff then. So now I just gotta work on the metal of Queek, who's just blowing back everyone. Keep on using him. Got assassins over here still fighting. They put 127, 118. If I had some magic, that would make my life a lot easier, but you know how that rolls. Let's bring you guys back, too. I think because of their lack of leadership, 
we might pull through. I was a little bit more confident before, now not so much. All right, whatever I can get, man. That's also damage resistance. It doesn't actually need a shield from what I'm aware of. I mean, I could be wrong, but oh, crap, they're melting them. I can't actually pull them back though. That's a terrible idea. Okay, let's go get these guys back in. Come on, come on. All of you, come on. Let's go. You can charge in, go charge in. Don't skirmish, just go in and fight. You too, Storm Vermin. We need everyone in it. Come on in, come on in. All right, so who do we have over here for the rats? We have a very weakened, yeah, let's just get it going. Pull up their groups again. Finally use my war bombs, I'm dropping their friends. Blowing more back. Clan, oh man, Clan Pestilence. Now I get why they were such a big threat in the lore, cause oh, those attacks just melt my armor. That moment when you have to get your specials to go in their lack of range attacks. We just had a Rat King happen, just the orgy of rats piling on top of each other and dying. Pretty sure that's how that works. So here's the battle. We've been fighting for a while now. That was not a brief battle. That was a much longer battle. I've been fighting Help and Abominations. I've been fighting everyone. And I think we finally did it. One of our coolest fights I think that we've had in a very long time. Now we need everyone, everyone to just go in and start fighting. Because of that little issue where the units will stop chasing, which won't be fixed until Mortal Empires is out, I'm going to let the AI just kind of take control and chase after them. Maybe they'll get some more kills, but the carnage. Let's go look at the battle. Wow, that was a huge fight. We fought nearly 5,000 Skaven. We had 2,700, and that was with my summoning rats. Oh, man. Took out that one Plague Claw. Had all the artillery. We fought over here. We defended that. We fought in the woods. Those rat ogres hit me hard. I didn't have the melee line to really hold them back. That was, like, a really tough one. If I have time, I'm going to change up my build just a little bit. We fought over here. That was very hard. Again, because they had like so much clutter, those Clan Pestilent guys were just able to just tear through my armor. And we've won a Pyrrhic victory. We lost 748. They lost over 2,000. And we have won the battle. Go look at those kills for by the Sensor Bearers. And not only that, they were a very elite army. But the Sensor Bearer monks were the, by far the toughest ones. I mean, you can't focus on them because you're fighting everyone else. Got a tough time ahead of you. Artillery still came out with a lot of kills. I lost my hell pit. I lost one storm vermin group. No. But I've now taken out two armies. The Golden Tower now has a huge battle to fight. Let's go ahead and handle that. Pardon? Is that on by default? What? Or are they using it? On themselves? I don't know what's happening. I mean, I'm okay with it. It's funny. You know what? We're going to save this battle for when we're back. We're going to have an extra long part. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and comment down below. And look forward to more Skaven Madness tomorrow.